Well, good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, and we are doing a candy series. And today's candies is homemade fudge and candied pretzels, holiday pretzels. It's something that we used to do when my kids were little. I think I did it when I was little. And I'm going to show you how to do each one, things that we will need for each project. And today we're going to pick our winner of who wins the caramels and the chocolate covered caramels. So let's see who our winner is first before we start. Let's see who is our winner for the caramels and chocolate covered caramels. Good luck everybody. <gasps> Stephanie, oh my gosh. And she wrote candy, has a little picture of a candy. Very cool. Well, Steph, I'm sending you some candy in the mail. Well, congratulations, Steph, for being our first candy winner. Now, the interesting thing about that is um, Steph lives down in Colorado, and we've become really pretty good friends. And I was mailing her a package with her Christmas present in there. It's already wrapped up, and it already has caramels and chocolate covered caramels. So I decided I would pick another winner. So two winners. So congratulations, Kim. And I hope you enjoy the caramels and the chocolate covered caramels. Here's our ingredients for the fudge today. We need two tablespoons of butter, a can of condensed sweet milk, three cups of chocolate chips, like Nestle's, any kind. And then the option of adding nuts, either walnuts or pecans. And we would use one cup of those. Now I had some mini chocolate chips too, so I threw those in um, to make the total of three cups. So it has three cups of chocolate chips, two tablespoons of butter, and then we're going to add the condensed milk. And I have this on medium heat and we're going to melt everything. I'm not going to add the nuts until all the chocolate chips is melted and I'm ready to put in my pan. So scoop that out. Now as condensed milk sits in your cupboard, it gets darker. At first it's very white, but if it sits in your cupboard, it gets a little bit darker. But this doesn't expire until 2021. And so it's perfectly good to use. Now let's look at what we're doing for our pan. Just like last week, we have a eight by eight glass pan. We have aluminum foil in there, but unlike last week where we used butter, I'm just going to use a nonstick coconut oil. And this will just make it easy for it to come out. Our chocolate chips and butter are melting and they're incorporating with the condensed sweet milk. And I'm just going to keep stirring this till it gets all the way melted. Don't put your burner on too high. Medium at the very highest. And just take your time and let that melt. It was just really a, maybe five minutes that I had to stir it. But it looks like everything is melted, so I'm going to add the nuts now. And I'm using walnuts today. But you can use pecans, macadamia nuts, any kind of nuts you want. Now there's about a million recipes for making fudge. But this is my simplest, easiest way to make fudge and it's fabulous. The smell is incredible and I just need to incorporate all those nuts. But see how thick it is? That's exactly what you want. Thick, rich fudge. 
So now we're going to pour it over here. And you're basically scooping it into it. So let's just scoop all that in there. And I have to tell you, it's heavy. It's thick. It's heavy. But that's what we want for fudge. So I have all the fudge in the pan. And I'm just smoothing it out, trying to make it pretty much even. And then it's going to go in the refrigerator for three hours. And then I'll be able to take it out and slice it up. I like to cut it into the squares and then put a little space between each square so that it kind of hardens around every piece of fudge. We're going to use tiny twists um, pretzels. You could also use the long pretzels that are like a breadstick. And then over here we have gold glitter and silver glitter. We have our cookie sheet with wax paper down. You could use parchment paper. And we have the white candy melts, the pinks, which actually are a strawberry flavor. Most of the time they're just a vanilla. Some red and light cocoa. Here are the first of the candy melts that I'm gonna melt. And I have a pan with a uh, stainless steel bowl. There's water in the pan. And I'm just gonna put some of the melts in there. And I'm gonna melt them. See how fast they start to do. And it's just a matter of minutes before all of it is melted. I'm going to use my slotted spoon again and I'm going to put it, the pretzel on it and then I'm going to put it into the pan. Now you don't have to cover the pretzel completely. And I just like to shake it out. And then I can lay it on to. So we're going to grab our pretzel and hold it at the bottom. I'm shaking the excess. So as you can see, it covers part of it. And then I can dip it in my sprinkles. And I like the golden and silver because it's holiday season. Let's once again cover it completely. Let's move that over. We're gonna put it in there and we're just moving it around to cover it all. And see how I just tap it to get that excess candy off of there. And then we can put it in there. And this way we can use multiple colors on there. So we're gonna, we're using the white first and then we're gonna add other colors to it. Now this time I added a few red candy melts in there. So the white is pushed over to the side so we could have some multicolored ones. So I'm just gonna kinda just put that in the middle, scoop it both ways. And then we're just going to tap the extra off. And as you can see, I'm going to put that up close. See how it makes that multicolored one? Real fun.
I'm letting the pretzels set up, the candy part set up on them. And I have just a, a mixture. Some are half and half, some are multicolored, some have glitter, edible glitter on them. But I have to let them set up for a little while. So while I'm doing that, I took my pan of fudge out of the pan and took the aluminum foil away from it and now I'm going to cut that up. I like to use a really large knife and then I can just work it down. Now as you can see it made some beautiful fudge with the nuts in there. Let's cut one more slice. As you can see, after sitting in the fridge for three hours, oh, a piece broke out. Oh, I guess I have to try it. Mmm. Yum. And then I just like to cut it into bite-sized pieces. I like these to sit out so that all the way around they get dry. That's a preference. A lot of people don't care about that. But it's just something I like to do. So I'm going to just take some time and I'm going to cut these all up. Put them on a cookie sheet with some wax paper. Or you could use parchment. An 8x8 pan of fudge will make you a lot of fudge. I have all these pieces on my cookie sheet, which is a large cookie sheet, plus two big hunks of fudge that I'm going to give away. Now, if you want to win the fudge, and you want to win the candied pretzels, what do you have to do? Same as last week. In the comments below, you just have to write candy. And next Monday, when I make candy again, which I'm going to make peanut brittle. And I think I might make something else yet, but I haven't decided. I'll announce the winner of the fudge and the candied pretzels. What could be funner? Free holiday candy treats. And it's almost Thanksgiving. Totally fun. As always, I want you to like. I want you to subscribe because if you want to be a winner, you have to be a subscriber. And I want you to share because it's the holiday season and people are making candies and people are making cookies. So share my recipes if you want. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.